Hey guys, today's video is a very special video because I am taking you along with me as I get ready for prom. Prom was a couple days ago and I had such an amazing time. So I'm first starting off with a bare face. I already got my hair done. I went to the salon and I got my hair trimmed and I did a nice job blow drying it. And if you did notice, I actually got a spray tan a couple days ago just to give myself a natural glow because I was wearing a short dress and I felt a little bit pale. So first I am using the Revlon Photo Ready Primer to prime my face to make sure my foundation and makeup will stay on throughout the night because it is a long night. I will be doing a lot of dancing. And then for the foundation, I'm using my CoverGirl Outlast 3-in-1 foundation. I'm applying this with my Sigma Round Top Kabuki brush. And I really like this foundation because it is lightweight, provides a nice coverage, and it stays on for such a long time, which is good because for prom, you want to find some long wearing products. Because like I said, it is a long night. And then for concealer, I am using my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer to um, conceal my dark circles, any redness, or any blemishes. Now to set my foundation, I'm using the CoverGirl Clean Press Powder and just using a big fluffy brush to apply this all over my face. And then to fill in my eyebrows and kind of define them, I am using the Maybelline Master Shape Eyebrow Pencil. And I'm just applying this lightly to my eyebrows and then using the brush on the other side just to blend out the color and make them look a little bit more natural. Now I'm using the Maybelline Clear Mascara as an eyebrow gel to set the color. And I was really tired, so I got another iced coffee. So here I am taking a little iced coffee break. For an eyeshadow primer, I'm using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This is like the little sample that I got with the palette that I'm actually going to be using. So I'm just applying this to my lids to make sure my eyeshadows do not budge. And now I'm actually going to be using some scotch tape. And I had a little trouble trying to rip off a piece of scotch tape, but I'm putting this on the corner of my eyes to give my eyeshadows a more dramatic effect, a more defined line, kind of like a cat eye effect. You'll see as like this tutorial progresses, but it was really cool. I thought it was appropriate because I was going for a dramatic eye look because it is prom. So for an eyeshadow base, I'm using the NYX Retractable Waterproof Eyeliner in Silver. I love using eyeshadow bases because they make my eyeshadows pop and stay on longer. So I'm just applying this to my lids and then blending it with my finger. And for the eyeshadows, I'm actually using the Too Faced Smoky Eye Eyeshadow Palette. And the first color that I'm using is White Lie. I'm applying this to the half of my eyelid on top of that silver eyeliner. And this is like a white light silver color. And then the other silver color that I'm using is called In A Flash. And I'm applying this to the other half of my eyelid. And this is a darker silver color. So I'm just applying that to my lid. And now with a crease brush, I'm taking the color in a flash again. I'm applying this to my crease. So now I'm taking a pointed eyeshadow brush and a mix of the color Nice Ash, which is a darker silver color, and then Smoking Hot, which is a black color. And I'm applying this to the outer corner of my eye following the scotch tape. And this will give me that dramatic effect, that cat eye look, and more of a defined line. And a lot of people came up to me at prom and they asked, how do I get my eyeshadow so like neat and clean and defined? And I was really happy that people noticed and who knew it's all because of scotch tape. And then I'm just taking a crease brush and making sure that everything is blended. And then I'm taking my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette in the color WOS or Walk of Shame, I think. And I'm just applying this to my brow bone and my inner corner for a highlight. And now for liquid eyeliner, I'm using the Milani Eye Tech Extreme Liquid Liner and I'm applying a thin line to my upper lash line. And now it's time to get rid of that scotch tape because I wasn't going to prom with scotch tape on my face. And here is what it looked like. And you can tell it kind of gave me like a very cool line, I guess you can say. And then I am using the Urban Decay 24-7 Eyeliner in Perversion to tight line my eyes and then to also apply it to my waterline. And then, for my 
And then for mascara, I'm using the Revlon Lash Potion Mascara. I did not apply any false lashes because I am a fail when it comes to applying false lashes. And I felt like this mascara really did provide nice length and volume to my lashes. So I'm just applying this generously to my top lashes and then my bottom lashes. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot to apply my Sephora eyeshadow in the color Diamonds Are Forever and I'm just applying this on top of the silver eyeshadow color just to give my eyes a little bit more sparkle. And then for a bronzer, I'm using the NARS Laguna Bronzer. And then I'm also highlighting my cheeks with the Benefit High Beam Highlighter. And then for my lips, I'm using the CoverGirl Jumbo Gloss Bomb Stain in the color Ballet Twist, which is a really nice light pink color. I wanted a more like nude natural color for my lips because I wanted all of the emphasis on my dramatic silver eyeshadow look. And then I am done. That is it for my makeup. So this is what the finished look looks like. So after I finished my makeup, it was time to get dressed and here is my prom dress. I am in love with my dress. I want it to be different for my senior prom, so I went with a bright neon lime green color and I went with a short dress and this is by the brand Maury Lee. I just love the look, the fit, and the shape of the dress and that's what my makeup looks like with the dress so I really wanted to emphasize like the silver because I felt like silver went well with the bright lime green color and then for earrings I just went with some diamond earrings I didn't want to go overboard with the jewelry because I wanted all the attention on the jewels of the dress and the dress itself so here's a close-up of the top of the dress I love all of the jewels and then here's a more close-up of the dress and Everybody loved my dress. Everybody said I looked like Tinkerbell and I am just in love with my dress. And then for shoes, I found these shoes by the brand BCBG. I wanted to get some fancy shoes because with the short dress you get to see my shoes. And these are just like some silver shoes with some jewels or sequins. They weren't the most comfortable shoes but they did look good with my dress. And then actually what was really cool about my dress, the back was a corset top, so it took a long time to tie it, but this is what the back of the dress looks like. So yes, that's just me modeling my prom dress and I'm going to be modeling my prom dress some more. As I continue to show you guys my dress, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. Definitely give this video a thumbs up because I did work hard on this video, but I'm so glad that I filmed it and got the chance to show my viewers what I looked like on my prom night because I had such an amazing time. And I did include some pictures of me and my friends and my date at pre-prom. We actually went to a beach for pre-prom. It wasn't the nicest of days. It was actually a rainy day, but the pictures still came out really nice. So here's me with my friends and my date, and it was such a fun time, such a great time. So as the pictures continue, I just want to thank you guys again for watching. There's still more pictures, but I'm going to end this voiceover right here. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.